Today we're going to be assembling a Shaker Espresso Base 15. Um, first off, we're going to need to lay everything out, get it nice and organized so you can find all your pieces and parts. The next step is we need to assemble and install our male clips onto our cabinetry. Again, there's preset holes for these to align there. We're going to go ahead and screw those in with two screws. Now, for video purposes, I went ahead and um, installed all the male clips except for that one. You have two on your toe kick, you have four on the face frame of your cabinet, and you have six on the back of your cabinet. Okay, we went ahead and put those in. All the female clips, they come installed on the Shaker Espresso cabinets, so you don't have to worry about that. Next step we're going to be doing is installing the sides onto the face frame. This one assembles a little bit different than the Appalachian Oak and a few other cabinets where you assemble the back and then put the faces on. With Shaker Espresso, we're going to start with the face and work our way to the back. So we're just going to line those clips up, making sure that they align to your dados really nice and snug. Might need a little persuasion. Time to time, you may have to loosen the female clips just to allow the sides to get into the dado before you finalize your the tightening. I loosened those up, so I fell right into the dado. I'll have to do the same way to the, the top in here. Shouldn't take much, just a, just a few rounds, and then that will slide right in. I'm going to go ahead now and put my set screws into those female clips. Locking those together. Be sure and be mindful not to tighten your screws too much so you don't strip out those screws that you're going to. And now I'm just going to assemble the other side. Now that we have our sides assembled onto our face frame, we're going to go ahead and install the bottom of the cabinet. Now the bottom of the Shaker Espresso cabinet has a finished side and an unfinished side. We just want to make sure to have that finished side turned towards the inside of the cabinet. We're going to slide it into the corresponding dados. They should slide right in and go down and fit into a corresponding dado on the front of the cabinet. Now that we have that, we should put in our toe kick. We have our female clips, our male clips. We'll just align those. Give those a little tap. Those are not, that was locked in nice. We're going to go ahead and set our set screw. Make sure the other one's lined really nice, nice and tight. There, we need to install the back of the cabinet. Now we'll have so have a uh, it will also have a dado to receive the bottom of the cabinet and the corresponding male clips into the female clips. This may be a little tricky. Those fit nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and put a set screw in those for you. Just continue with the top side of the cabinet. We'll install our set screws in these, and then the back assembly will be done. Next, we're going to be uh, mounting our corner blocks. I've done installed two. These are to help align the sides and to give you something to attach your countertops to. They have these little ears on the top, which actually lip over the front of the cabinet, I mean over the top of the cabinet, and just two screws to mount those to the side. They're just here to help hold the cabinet, keep it square, 
and to get something to adhere your granite and or for mica countertops too. At this point, you may want to go ahead and install the brackets for the drawer lights. Okay, these have um, small raised dowels on the back. Those coincide with um, adjacent dowel holes on the inside of the cabinet. So you just align those up. Go ahead and put a couple of set screws in those. Now you're ready for drawer assembly. Now we need to mount the drawer tracks to the inside of the cabinet. Now when these drawer tracks come to you, they will be assembled with the drawer side and the cabinet side put together. So you just need to release those and pull them out. On the inside of the drawer glide, there is going to be a little lever here, a little black lever. You just push that, then that will release. This side will be actually what mounts to your drawer, so set that to the side and we'll use that in a little bit. Again. A little lever unlatches. You can pull those out, set it to the side. Now, when we go to put this inside the cabinet, this is going to be the front side. So, what we're going to do is take that, we're going to align it inside the cabinet, get it in that track. You want your drawer glide to inset inside that face frame about a sixteenth of an inch. That will allow the drawer to pull itself all the way back and not show when the drawer is closed. You pull that track out a little bit until you can see your set screw hole. And continue to the other side. Right here is your set screw hole. And this is true for all base cabinets. Now that those are installed secure, we'll leave those be and we'll start uh, assembling our drawer to go in. Next we're going to go ahead and uh, assemble the, the drawer. Now the sides and the face have the dado um, that will receive the bottom and then the back will go on last. Right now we're going to go ahead and align these dovetails. If your dovetails have any uh, fur, uh, any extra material, go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper and clean that off. That's just for machining. That way they'll fit together a little tighter. And tap those dovetails together. and clean and flush. So, we have the dovetail set in for the sides. Don't worry about the alignment right now. Go ahead and slide our bottom of our uh, drawer in. Make sure that one side is unfinished, one side is finished. The finished side always goes towards the inside of the drawer. So let that fit in nice and tight and securely. Take the back of the cabinet, making sure the dado lines up perfectly. Get that set in one side of the dovetails like so. Then tap those together. to the other side. Again, the cleaner 
quicker you can get your dovetails, the, the easier they'll go together. At this point, I'm going to be going to our shop, putting in a couple of brads. That just keeps your dovetails nice and tight and secure. So now we finally have our drawer box assembled. I went ahead and took the liberty of putting in some brads into the dovetails, keeping those nice and secure. If you're assembling a lot of cabinets uh, really fast, this is a nice way to get a really secure fit with minimal time. If you have a little bit more time, you may go ahead and install a little bit of glue in each one of those dovetails and then brad it. Just makes for a little bit tighter fit. Uh, if you have time to go ahead and clamp it, you may be able to do without the brads at all. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and install our drawer tracks onto our drawer. The bottom of the cabinet is where that the drawer track needs to align. So, when we put this on, we are going to align that to the bottom of the drawer track. The ear on the front of the drawer track always pushes towards the front of the cabinet. Now, these are reversible. One side will work on, I mean, one track will work on either side. Get that lined up to the bottom, nice and flush to the bottom of the drawer. Right to the front. Set your screws in. You can put in three, four. I like three, gives a nice tight fit. So if that's that side, we'll move to the other side. Again, these short tracks are reversible. Keep in mind, I'm keeping that drawer track aligned really nice and tight to the bottom of the cabinet. Set my screws. Now this drawer is ready to be installed in the cabinet. So now that we have our drawer glides installed onto our drawer and to our cabinet, time to put in the drawer. The easiest way is just go ahead and line these tracks up, making sure that you get the ball bearings to fit just nice and tight. Okay, then hold one glide, push it in. If you'll notice, this little tab is rising up, that means it's getting ready to clip, and you'll feel it kind of catch. Now, you go to the other side. I like to use my hand just to pull that glide in nice and tight. And that side is set. With that, your drawer is installed, and the cabinet is almost finished. All we have to do is put our shelf inside the cabinet. So just put your little clips inside. Now the Shaker Espresso is a half depth shelf. So your clips need to be installed in the back set of holes for the shelf. Got those. Again, make sure that the edge banding is pointing out and not the raw side of the plywood. Make sure that's nice and then fit. And that concludes the assembly of a base 15 shaker espresso.